me see. Can you see me? All right. Welcome back to Just Simply Rose. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure you guys are seeing me. Okay. Today I am finally doing this chicken pot pie. I've been so wanting to do it and then I don't been so lazy to do it too. I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, I am attempting to uh, let me just hold this. I've been attempting, I'm going to attempt to do it out of this recipe book. Let me show you. It's um uh what's her name? Joanna Gaines. Don't mind my tissue. I do wash my hands a lot, so. Um, it's Joanna Gaines, and it's uh, chicken pot pie. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll follow it to a T because everybody's taste buds are so different, and I like, you know, different flavors in my food. So I'm going to definitely follow some of the guidelines. I know hers calls for biscuits or something, but I have, like, the pie crust um, sheet so I'm gonna try it that way and uh, hopefully it turns out good uh, how are you guys doing today uh, I want to thank anybody new and old because um, we're all new here together thank you so much for subscribing and showing your support uh, it means so much to me um, I definitely cannot do any of this without the support of uh, you all and I just thank you and I'm truly humbled that you guys even are giving me a chance and, and just looking at my videos. Just wanted to, you know, kind of put that out there before we got to doing everything else. I never want that to uh, go unnoticed and unheard. I am truly humbled and gracious and appreciate each and every one of you so thank you but anyway on to our chicken pot pie i have the let's see the chicken is boiling so i like to boil it down in some seasonings to flavor up the chicken just a little bit um there that's better you guys that need to be up my nostrils i'm sorry um uh, season the chicken boil it up and then i'll actually shred it once it's boiled and a little bit flavored so i'm um, gonna go ahead and get the ingredients and what is it potatoes the carrots the peas um chicken broth the pie crust i'm gonna get all that together and i will be right back Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go over here and um, I'm going to show you guys what ingredients I'm going to use. Like I said, I throw my own spin into it. I don't think that her actual recipe called for potatoes, but I want, I want some potatoes in ours, just kind of small cubed potatoes will give it a little bit more hardiness um and i gotta get the flour other than that and the seasoning but let me show you what i have as so far so i have the pillsbury pie crust um here That's what that looks like um my husband doesn't really like onions, but I'm going to throw, this is just the red one, so it's a little bit, I'm going to probably dice just very fine, a little, little, little bit, just to give it a little punch. Um, I've got the sliced carrots, the sliced, or um, the sweet peas, and then obviously the chicken broth, and three potatoes. And instead of milk, um, her recipe did, it did um, call for milk, but instead of milk, I'm gonna use this, um, this uh, half and half. So make it a little thicker. And um, because I believe that she used 
condensed cream of chicken soup and I don't really need that you know I'm pretty good with seasoning and I know how to make it thick so I am going to get started on cutting up these potatoes and while the chicken is boiling Okay, so here I decided I would go ahead and just use two potatoes instead of three. They ended up being uh, quite a good amount for the size pie I was making. Okay, so now we have everything nicely chopped and fine and ready to go into the pot. Setting our stove to 375 to bake.
Okay, so you kind of want to saute that in the butter until it's like a translucent color. And then we will let that simmer down just a bit. Okay, then we're going to add in the frozen carrots and mix everything all together. And just let that cook down till the carrots get just a little bit softer. And then here we're going to add the flour in and just kind of mix that up together. It will kind of bunch together until you add the chicken broth, but just keep stirring it and it'll end up like a little paste. All right, once you've mixed in the broth, I'm gonna add, it's about, if I were to measure a quarter cup of the heavy whipping cream and just stir that down. So just continue to stir it, add just a little bit more flour once you get that mixture together. Don't worry about it looking kind of liquidy. It will definitely thicken up as the heat goes. And then just add in your potatoes and continue to whisk that. Um, if you have a whisk, it's a little bit better than a spoon, but if not, the spoon will definitely suffice. Okay, now it's time to add the seasonings. And if you notice, it is another pan that you see. And that's my sous chef, Tony B, has just arrived, washed his hands, and helped me with this chicken pot pie. So he's going to be adding some the garlic salt and some Parmesan cheese. It does give it a little bit of a kick. And then after the Parmesan cheese, he's going to be using the uh, Nature's Blend seasoning as well. You can always season that to your own taste, but this is where you want to make sure that the inside filling of the pie tastes exactly the way you want it. Okay, the chicken has finished boiling, so here I am removing the skin and shredding it from the bone so that I can get it prepared to add into that mixture.
Here is when in the beginning I mentioned that I cooked the chicken down with seasoning so there was really no need for me to add any further seasoning to the chicken but you are welcome to taste that as well and go ahead and add it if you feel necessary. Okay, if you notice how thick the mixture has become, now we're just gonna add the shredded chicken in it and just stir that together. And we are almost done with this filling. Hey guys, okay, so I have done the filling, which is absolutely delicious. If you guys saw, I had my mini me helper that uh, assisted me with this chicken pot pie. Say hi, mini me. Hi. <laughs> Okay, now I am getting ready to do the crust. I have two of these. So I'm actually going to put one on the bottom and one on the top because we like it to be like a pie. All right, so hold on for that. Okay, so obviously you coat your... I put a lot because these things don't be working okay so i coated my pyrex and i'm gonna use my pie i'm sure y'all saw me cooking and i don't even know why i opened a cookbook because not one thing that i put in there was in this recipe so anyway it's good and that's all that matters so all right let's see how this is gonna work <laughs> guys I'm wiped out Whew. okay here it is before it goes in the oven looking pretty good all right I'll be back to show you the finished product <laughs> 